So I thought that Aaron's kid had like a hundred amiibos. We have even more worthless plastic. We have a hundred Disney Infinity. We have every Disney Infinity figure. But we do have some amiibos. Can I only get one item? Wait, can I only... So this is the Princess Zelda amiibo. That's not going to focus because my face is in the way. I don't have any Fire Emblem amiibos. So can I only scan like one per day? It seems like I can only scan a certain amount a day. Four. There's Ike, Lucina, Marth, and Robin. I just typed Robin into Amazon. I was like, figure it out. These things are fucking expensive. Holy shit. So many. Who is Kamui? Wait, do they only give music tracks? Is that it? Professor! How about this? Do you know about the Cardinals? They are the ones who no, run Tomas the church. Weird. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. 
Wait, what? Do you know about the Cardinals? Their identities. Oh, they're probably all bad people. Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even Spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? Um... I like the warmth. But you are wearing many things, Professor. If you are not liking oh, the fuck, heat, I you should be up. wearing lighter clothes. Fuck. Shit. God damn it. Re reset. That's a reset. Training has given me great busyness right now. It is not a good time for the chatting. But you have given me intrigue. Please make sure you are speaking with me again. On your assignment. We don't want anything to happen to our precious students. If any of you run into trouble, we'll step in and help out. Okay. What? You look bored. Care to duel? What? I just wanted to spot. I would have said yes, let's go. So, greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Are you settled in here at the monastery yet? Make sure to have a good look around. There's much to see. Like fish. You do know about the pond behind the dining hall, right? You can fish there. Give it a try. Wait, what about that fish? Where'd my fish go? Please come again. Welcome. Please come again. No. Welcome. Oh, shit. A steel sword. How much Will better this one is that? Do? It doesn't tell you how much better it is. Oh, it's might is a little better, but it's hit goes down. Holy shit. <clears throat> Come back soon. Hey. Yeah. Wait, where? Where do I sell that golden fish that I got? So, you there. If your items are in storage? Oh, you can just straight up sell them from here.
What about that book that I got? Or that seal that I got? Do I just put that in my storage? And then what is that going to allow me to do? <clears throat> I was thinking, hello. What about Professor? You're the one taking out the bandits? <laughs> That's one way to start your career at the academy. I didn't expect they'd order us to risk our lives here. Seems a bit extreme, doesn't it? Hey, Professor. Pretty great timing. I want to ask you something. I'd like yeah. to be in your class, if that's possible. Whoa. I've been thinking, maybe I ought to get serious about studying. Now, what happens if I don't accept them? Can he never join? What are the penalties for having him join the house? Wow, very decisive. I like it. I'll be there on time and in the front row and everything. You'll never have a better student. I wonder if he only joins because I'm a female. I was thinking the Knights of Saros are also known as the Shining Knights. We are the sword and shield of the divine Saros. There are many orders of knights in the world, but we are the only one that has the honor of bearing the name Saros. As a member of the church, you should probably study up on the history of Saros and the Knights. Wait, who, who can I talk to right here? Hello. Oh. That person sure does remind me of somebody, but I can't figure out who. Oh, do you need me for something? Sorry, but I'm really busy right now. Okay. Uh, let's go finish the dojo over okay. here. I was going to order all of the uh, amiibos, but... Hey there, Professor. You hear... Oh, that reminds me. Not really sure what it... Wait, I already spoke with that Professor. guy. Why didn't it make me talk to that guy again? That's really dumb. family we have long held the position of prime minister in the empire the empire's power lies with six noble families my family foremost among them the full explanation may be time-consuming I can give you a moment to get ready if you would like to take notes all right I will list the six great noble families there is Kaspar's father Count Burgley's the Minister of Military Affairs then there's Linhart's father. Everyone Count take notes, Everett, chat. The Minister of Domestic Affairs. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. Uh -huh. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the Minister of the Imperial Household. Uh -huh. Finally, we have Duke Gert, the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And my own father, Duke Eyer, the mm -hmm. Prime Minister. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. Mm -hmm. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. You know, I look forward to that. There is nothing I cannot achieve. I like that go-getter attitude, Chet. Oh, Professor. Here to recruit me, I presume? Well, the eldest son of House Iyer will not be so easily swayed. Dex and heavy armor. Okay. 
Uh oh. Chat. It's always the church. I hear the Officers Academy of the Monastery was founded about two centuries ago. The eastern region of Fodlan was being invaded by Almira, and so the Archbishop of the time took measures to prevent the border from being taken. In order to ensure Fodlan would be safe from potential threats, she deemed it necessary to raise a generation of excellence. That She's got a lot of hair under that helmet, man. Founded, though its purpose has changed over the years. favor to ask okay. hey. <laughs> the cathedral is nice and quiet it's so relaxing oh professor did you come to pray to the goddess totally no but shall we pray together while you're here yeah of course oh you want me to join your class well, I'm already having so much fun in my current class. Sorry to disappoint, but I'll have to decline. Man, I'm just blowing all the choices, chat. There's something else. It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. Yeah, you're a bit. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? Sure. You don't sound terribly sure. Perhaps you are not of noble birth? After all, devotion is not as essential for a common. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? <clears throat> Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole, and... Saint Sathleen! Who is your favorite professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings Saint and Keyhole? traditions. Inside the cathedral, there is a saint in Saint Sutley. Now that you are a I have something to ask of you. Ooh. Students in the courtyard. It's always weird when religion and wars something are associate, associated. Saint, I, yeah, I think Saint Keyhole is Sora. I think you guys are right about that, Chet. Even people from far off lands gather here at the academy. Word of advice, Professor. There are those who don't think kindly of such people. That was easy. Shit, wrong way. I'm spending so much time here in the city, but I'm kind of under the. idea that that's probably something that's not going to last so that's i better sad. enjoy it hey there uh, let's see Yeah, they had to make sure I was cleared to go into the... My savior, thank you. Wait, what is this? Oh, the first person to participate in choir practice. Oh. Um... Oh, 
Oh, my food's here. Who should we choose, chat? Who should we choose? I'll bring it back. All right, Chad, who are we choosing? I kind of want to choose Manuela. So if they don't have a smile next to them, does that mean that I can't recruit them? So there's no reason to right now? So is it not worth, I mean, I should probably just do Lauren's, I would guess. Oh, it means they're not on your team yet, but you still get the bond up. Oh, let's do Dorothy then. And Manuela. I'll keep my voice down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention. But how loud is too loud? This is no good. Sing from your diaphragm. No. Get it? No. Nice. Faith experience? Oh, brother. Now we gotta go turn into Sate. Sorry. Trying to get rid of all this shit food on me. Alright, Sate's up here. So, well done. You have my thanks. Nice, we got that steel sword. And a leather shield. Um The cathedral is Nope. Uh alright, let's go upstairs. Hi. Someone is saying I can port? How do I port? To have what? for sure. Xanado, the Red Canyon, is a place of great significance to the Church of Saros. Even members of the church are forbidden from entering without permission. To go trampling around in there, causing trouble. But those bandits truly are morally reprehensible. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I see. Thank you for paying me a visit. 
Is there anything troubling you? Or is there perhaps something I can help you with? You seem to be getting along well with the students. I would advise you to be confident in your abilities. The rest will fall into place in time. I can often be found here, so if there is ever anything you need, please do not hesitate to pay me a visit. Okay. Thanks for your help. Interesting. Hmm. So battalions are a way to like make yourself a little bit better. Guiding the students in the mock battle. Taking command like that? Simply splendid. And bearing the unknown crest's power? Yes, I'm talking about you. Your talents are incredible, and Lady Rhea's insight as to your potential is doubly so. Thank you. seem to have a mark of the exceptional about you. I only wish Seth would follow your example. <laughs> okay. Fucking creep. I can't believe it. I'm so glad to be a student here. If only because I get to use this library. Reading books from all the regions of Fodlan. I feel almost like I'm visiting those places myself. I'd like to. I don't have many chances to travel. Oh, that's sad. Well, so far I'm like five for none. Swimming through a sea of countless books, tracking down that single sought-after volume, it's absolute bliss. How do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life? Huh? Your class? I can see the appeal, yes. However, I still have a lot of books I wish to read in this class. But talk to me again, okay? I'm going to guess <clears throat> charisma and something else. Magic. Weird. Uh, there it is. All right. Let's go report. So someone said I can hit that. And I hit the wrong thing. Let's see how fast the load is. It's pretty fast. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. We got so much stuff. All right, I think we did everything, right? I think it's save time. The shining thing is me.
All right, I'm gonna end. Behind the cook, there was loot. Wait, really? Oh my god. Good call. All right, let's end. Don't tell me. No one bothered to show you the standard procedure for lectures? I guess it's up to me to save the day. Uh oh. Oh boy. Before starting a lecture, be sure to first check on our study goals. After all, students will want to prioritize studying things that relate to their goals. Oh God. It's probably easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. But that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach things that don't relate to someone's goals. Not by a long shot. By overcoming their weaknesses, some students may develop an interest in new fields. Oh boy. A student's study goals may need to be updated based on their learnings and experiences. It's an important part of being teach to counsel students like that. How well their tutoring goes will depend on a student's motivation. It's possible that interacting with students on a regular basis will raise their motivation. Maybe. Then again, what do I know? In any case, make sure to keep an eye on how motivated everyone is. Students are encouraged to partake in various activities around the monastery. If you have students work together, it will give them a chance to interact and maybe even help them achieve better results. Have you heard about the monthly certification oh, exams? If you want to become a certain class, you have to pass the certification exam for it. That means training up on the required skills so you can pass. Don't slack when it comes to teaching your students what they need to know to pass their certification exams. Oh boy. Should we just auto instruct? right now. Should I? <clears throat> I okay. If I auto instruct, will it just auto complete or will I get to see what they do?
Well, let's do this. Let's take her. We'll rank this up. Reason. Right? Is she our healer? Oh, got it. Okay. It was quite a challenge. Cool. Cool. Marianne was the healer. Uh... Wait, will I get these back? Easier than I thought. Don't stop. Keep it coming. It was quite a challenge. Oh, okay, I see now. I see, okay. Huh, she could be a Lancer. She was our healer though, right? No, she was not our healer. Who the hell was our healer? Oh, she was? Okay, so I get it now. <clears throat> you want to max out... Okay, I understand what's happening. Oh, she gets heavy armor. She does not have a bonus to that right now, so let's max this out. I see how that works now. Now, is it worth putting them on group task every time? Yeah, no one likes weeding. <clears throat> well, hold on. Who was... Um... was the one that had the heavy armor? <clears throat> was it... It's Hilda. So let's do Hilda and Raphael, I guess. Oh, you can only do one? Oh, okay. I thought I could, like, put everyone in there. Let's do that then, right there. Professor, may I ask you something? If you want, I guess.
Hmm. I think we're gonna go with hot tea. That seems bad. That seems bad. Let's do hot tea. Ah, got you. Nice. Get to work. Oh, God. Very well. Let's begin. Well, Professor, impressed? Nice. Holy shit. I've got a grasp on this. Great. Thanks. Holy shit. Oh, we have to battle. Auxiliary battles are now available. How often you can battle is limited by your activity points dedicated in the top part of the screen. On normal difficulty, some auxiliary battles will, will not cost. Okay. Hit in a battle while playing online. You may see the spirits of those who perished on other players' battlefields. These are most likely to appear in places where death is frequent. Spirits that appear in the shade are, are in this shade indicate an area where many inmates have fallen. You collect items or drop. Oh. That's kind of cool. That's cool. Terrain effects. Oh, yeah. Trying to, you know. Yeah. Battalions are deployed in battle so students can learn how to take command. Holy shit, there's so oh, many of us. That concept may be new to a loner mercenary like you, eh, hey, Teach? You want me to explain the basics? When hiring a battalion, start by deciding who will lead them. Pay close attention to the battalion type. One may be made up of armed soldiers, while another is all mages. As for who should lead which battalion, well, be sure to think on that carefully. If you deploy a battalion, you can use their special gambit. If you successfully pull off a gambit, you may be able to affect the outcome of the battle, even if just a tiny bit. If you join forces with a nearby ally, there's a good chance that the results will be even greater. Interesting. Oh, God. So... Oh, everyone's fighting. <clears throat> oh, she's got Geralt's mercenaries.
That should go on a healer, no? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I do want to equip <coughs> items real quick on my character. Wait, where'd that steel sword go? Son of a... Oh, <clears throat> it's right there. Oh, okay, I see what I'm looking at. Let's save it. We might save scum. Let's see how it goes. Ah, uh, they're not bad, Ragnaros. Holy shit, there's a lot of us. God damn. Holy shit, man. Stay focused. All right, let's just Ready get situated. Me. I got this. I stand ready. Leave it to me. Who, me? Let's get to it. Ready anytime. I'm on it. Seems there were a lot of deaths in this general area. <laughs> Good lord. See, this is kind of crazy to look at. To play around like this. <clears throat> it's very interesting. All right, well, let's let's move up. Does that mean next round they're all going to attack her? Oh, no. Okay. That's a little misleading. All right. Let's just attack.
I, my worry is if I move up there, they're gonna just fucking murder me. I guess I might as well. Uh, Merit Emeritus, thanks for that gifted sub to uh, Dragoon. Great. Never underestimate an outsider. Murder him. She's pretty close to level up. I'll celebrate later. Wait, no, she wasn't. There's a girl with a goddamn axe that was close. This is looking particularly spicy. Probably should have moved him, to be honest. <clears throat> or I can attack diagonally, perfect. Ninety three hit percent, but if I move there, it puts me right next to him up in the front, which is bad. Sixty eight hit percent. I'll go for it. Yes, I have no choice. 
What the fuck? Uh, I'm all sweaty. She just went off. Fun to watch. <clears throat> I'm a little worried because I feel like he's about to get ganged up on. Oh, I guess only two could attack him. That's true. I got to start thinking like that. Let's move her over here. Yes, killing blows uh, do grant more than uh, more XP. Alright, I'm gonna wait out the rest of the round. Although, he could actually be safe if we move him over there. I think that was a good play. Miss it! Hit him back! Not so God damn it! We now got that D plus. How is this gonna help? No oh, fuck. Okay. Now we need to murder everyone here in the back, but we also need to murder this gentleman. Game fun? I'm enjoying it, yeah. It's pretty intense. Oh, she is in a okay spot for now. Okay. Uh fuck, I can't attack any of these guys, can I? Wait, so am I not using my battalion here? Or is the battalion helping in these situations? I need to start fucking using these battalions. 